Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to explain to you how our inline centrifugal pump works and how far we've gone in our prototype. So here are some of our basic components. We have a battery case right here, a little on-off switch right there. Then we have our potentiometer, and then we have our DC motor. So how this is going to work is I'm going to grab this alligator clip right here. I'm going to touch it to the resistor coil of the potentiometer. So the further I touched away from the other alligator clip, the higher resistance I'm going to get, and then the lower DC speed right here. Then the closer I touch the other alligator clip, the lower the resistance and the higher the DC motor speed. So you could probably hear that. Let me show you again. High resistance, low resistance. Pretty cool, right? All right, moving on to our sensor subsystem. We have our code right here. Just figuring out how the LCD screen is going to interact with our DC, with our flow rate sensor. Then we have our Arduino, which handles all the information. And then we have our LCD screen, which displays information. And then our little flow rate sensor, which is just gonna just gather information for us. So to demonstrate this for you, I'm going to blow into the flow rate sensor, and then it's going to register in the top line, the flow rate, and then the bottom line, the amount of fluid that's already gone through the flow rate sensor. All right, let me show you. Cool, right? Okay, so those are our two subsystems, and how they interact is that as the IV fluid goes through our flow rate sensor, it's going to register right here, and then our operator is going to see that the flow rate's either too high or too low. Then they're going to fix the potentiometer so that the flow rate changes based on DC motor speed, right? So if it's the flow rate's too high, I'll put it on a higher resistance, lower the DC motor speed, and then should register on a flow rate sensor. So I'd say percentage-wise on completion, we're about 50 to 60% done, but there's still a lot that we need to do. So we need to make a device casing that's gonna house all of our components right here. The next thing that we probably need to do is um, change the size of this potentiometer because it's a little big, but it was the only one that could handle the wattage, wattage and have a low enough range of resistance. We also probably wanna solder all our components together. Next, what we want to do is make a computer chip that does the function of this Arduino so that we don't need to have a computer with us, right? And it'll just compress the size and it'll make it more portable and probably more resistant to damage as well. And then we finally, we want to make a pump. Uh, we need to 3D print a pump so that this DC motor can actually move fluids through it. All right, that's our prototype right now. Thank you for watching.